What's up gamers, Red Dragon here, and we are covering the latest news on VGM. So, for every action, there is a reaction. And so, with Microsoft announcing that they are going to be offering a bundle without the Kinect with the Xbox One, that does mean some changes are going to be taking place. Um, so, some of them actually could positively affect people who do have the Xbox One and the Kinect. So, we'll begin with Analyst. Uh, we talked a couple of weeks ago how some analysts were predicting that the Xbox would take the PlayStation in the U.S. by 2016. So they thought that Xbox One would be outselling the PS4 uh, by 2016 only in the U.S. They still expect uh, PlayStation to be number one everywhere else in the world. But uh, since this news has dropped that they're dropping the Kinect, they have actually revised those numbers and they do believe that Xbox will take the U.S. by next year, by 2015. And there's a couple analysts who have come out uh, at least the analyst firms have come out and stated that. The other news was that uh, some talk has been made that by Microsoft dropping the Kinect, it's possible that uh, that could also free up some more processing power for the Xbox One. So the way Microsoft has it right now is so much resources is allocated for the Kinect for every game, whether your game is wanting to use Kinect or not, because, you know, it was thought that every Xbox One would have a Kinect, so they've went on ahead and allocated those resources out. Now, by removing the Kinect, some are saying that it's possible, and there was even some suggestions uh, by one of Microsoft's people that that would free up some more resources for the Xbox One. So I don't know the hard numbers. I know that there was talk months ago that there was supposed to be some freeing up of resources from the Kinect. It was, I think they had mentioned at the time that it was 10%. Now, I don't know if that means that these plans were, you know, set in stone all the way back then and that's what they were talking about, or if it's that 10% plus some extra that's going to be freed up now. But my guess would be that maybe they're going to leave it more up to developers to decide if there needs to be resources allocated more towards the Kinect. Now, of course, you're going to still have to have some because if people want to snap things and, and run other uh, programs, then you've got to uh, still pay attention to those people who have the Kinect. Uh, but they may make it where more games and developers are able to have a little bit more say in how exactly those resources are uh, divided up. And then one of the biggest changes, hopefully, that is coming down the line is that Microsoft has already said that they're going to have to be making some major changes to the user interface in order to make it a lot easier to navigate with the controller. So Xbox 360, I thought, I thought it was perfect. The way that you pulled up the guide button on the front of the controller, you just press that button, everything was right there. It was so freaking easy. And the Xbox One, I've complained about it before several times in the past, it's just not as easy to navigate unless you have Connect. Now, if you have Connect, it's a breeze, you know? I, that's why I use Connect all the time. I love using the voice commands, but it should be a lot easier to use with the controller. And Microsoft has said that they're going to have to go in and make some major redesign changes to the UI in order to make that happen. So I think it would be awesome if they were able to go ahead and replicate more of what the 360 did as far as navigating around in the dashboard. Now they said these changes don't expect them at E3. They said it's going to take a little bit of time, but that is something that they are going to be working on in order to make sure that people who don't have the Kinect, uh, they're going to have an easy experience uh, navigating around to the different options and features. And then one final thing that I will mention here is we also talked about how Microsoft was doing away with the paywall for the entertainment apps so that you don't need Xbox Live Gold in order to play those apps. So Microsoft has come out today and said that if you've already purchased an Xbox Live Gold membership, you don't want it, you just want to use the Xbox for the entertainment features, then they are going to offer refunds for people who have purchased Xbox Live Gold. So if you have Gold, now you don't need it because you just mainly use the entertainment features, then you can go in, get a refund, from Microsoft. So, all these stories on VGN. That's where you need to go every day for the latest news and headlines as it's happening. Links down in the description box if you want to read more about each story. Stay tuned right here to this channel and to VGN for your latest gaming news. That does it for me, The Red Dragon. Post below, let me know what do you think about Microsoft's decision to drop the Connect and what benefits do you think, if any, will come 
for dropping the connect. That does it for me, the Red Dragon. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.